person. Let us understand the various components of S for HANA, irrespective of the modules. And it is pretty much the same as in ECC, the overall structure. There might be few addition, uh, additional uh, options, but the overall structure in terms of uh, architecture and the components have not changed. The changes have been more on the uh, technical side, on from the database perspective, and of course, few for improved functionalities. The base design from the uh, functional perspective has not undergone too much of a change, but expect more functionalities in HANA. The major change being the database structure, which we will not go in detail in this lesson. Now, there are five big components or six big components which S4 HANA has. First one is the master data, second one is the transaction, third one is the configuration, fourth is the customization, fifth is the technical part and the sixth one is the actual transaction. Now let us start with the master data. Master data is one of the key components of any ERP and S4 HANA is no different. What is the purpose of master data? It helps to identify the object by giving a name or a number like a material number or a customer number or a name. Master data also has the attributes of an object like the address of a customer or a material group of a customer, uh, material group or a customer uh, pricing habits or all the attributes. Lastly, master data in transactions helps the user to reduce the data entry and also the validations are put in place. So in essence master data helps the user to minimize their entry as well as all the uh, data which or the business rules or the this thing or the attributes which have been built gets copied over automatically in the transaction. Transaction. What is the purpose of a transaction? In a tra the user transactions are the execution part of any module. So transactions are done by users to enable the execution of a process and in our case it will be order to cash. Example, sales order document, billing document. So what does the transaction allow the user to do? It helps the user to enter the data like the customer number, the material number, the order quantity and things like that. Once the system validates the data based on the business rules built in the configuration, the transaction is saved in the backend tables. Post all the transactions, reporting can be enabled based on the data stored in the backend table. So transactions are at the user level, at the execution level and which kind of triggers all the execution in case of sales order. Uh, uh, the next delivery is triggered and the invoice is triggered. So at one transaction initiates the other transactions to complete the process. In our case, order to cash process. When we say order, we create a sales order. When we say cash, we raise the invoice and get the billing. The next one is the configuration. Configuration in S4 HANA enables to build the business rules as per the customer requirements. Business rules can be in the form of imposing controls based on the user input, whether the system should prompt an error message or a warning message or allow the users to proceed. So these kind of business rules are built in the configuration. Say for example, if the material number, the maximum length of a material number is 18 and if somebody enters a 19 digit number, whether the system should give error, warning or allow to proceed. Now if, if a material master, the number entered in the sales order for a material, the material master does not exist, obviously it should give an error. So sometimes these are part of programming and some of the rules can be built in configuration. Configuration can also be in the form of creating entities like organization elements and roles, build different pricing uh, elements for pricing elements which will be used by the customer or making a field in a transaction mandatory, optional or sometimes even high. The standard delivers, the standard S4 HANA delivers configuration which can be right away used. Now, whether if it is 
whether if it can be used directly by the customer without without any changes it can be used yes the consultants can add configuration as per the requirement the general approach is to retain the standard configuration and add new configuration as per the requirement so the transaction spro in s4 hana takes you to the configuration and it is the consultants playground where all the business rules are built during the implementation and post implementation as and when new functionalities come in as and when uh, new entities come in the configuration can be amended the next one is the customization there are always different definitions one will hear between the configuration and the customization configuration options are standard delivered by sap to build business rules and at times tweak standard rules Customization is done when standard configuration or tweaking of configuration does not support customer business process. Customization are done at different levels. Like first one would be build a complete end-to-end -end process which is not supported by a standard uh, S4HANA process. Build just build custom tables and store data there for reporting or some other purpose. Build custom programs by copying the standard and do the necessary changes. Or design and develop custom reports by copying the existing report. The most common customization would be the reports, wherein SAP HANA comes up with standard reports. Now, a few fields have to be added as per the customer requirement. Few fields because the users like the reports in a particular way. So, in those cases, customization are done. The most common customization happens in terms of reports, and the next would be in terms of creating some custom programs by adding some logic on top of SAP's plan. The next one is the technical. S4 HANA supports ABAP4, which is in ECC, which is the proprietary programming language of SAP. And to interface S4 HANA with third party systems, NetWeaver gateway services will be used. These are other technical that there are other technical components like PI and PO. PI and PO. Now the next one is the administration. In the administration, in this component, basically the health check of uh, health check and maintenance of S4 HANA will be done in addition to roles and responsibilities as per segregation of duty or SOD will be configured by the basis administrators. The roles and authorizations form part of the security and the health check and the administration becomes part of basis. So at a high level, these are all the components as for HANA comes with as a default. Now this is not very different from the ECC or the preceding version. That has remained the same. Most of the options available are there. Whatever was available in the ECC and the preceding versions are there. And there are going to be additional things in the S4HANA components.